What is going on, good people of YouTube? It is me, Chavez, and I am back with another MLB player prop video for you. Today is Monday, May 29th, 2023. And as always, thank you all so much for stopping by the channel. And I hope this video finds you all doing well and in good spirits very, very quickly. Today is Memorial Day, so I'd like to extend a very hearty thank you to all the men and women who uh, support this country, serve this country. If you are currently serving or have served in the past, thank you so much for all that you do. In this video, we'll be recapping our plays from yesterday and then uh, jumping into the prize picks board because I do have three player props that I want to share with you, inclusive of a four bagger swagger call of the day. We'll spend a few seconds going over a promotion with our friends over on Thrive Fantasy. Uh, and then we'll call it a day. We'll let you get back to your uh, your day. So if you like the way that sounds, I encourage you to stick around, drop a like, drop a sub, and click that notification icon to get notified of all upcoming content and videos from me and my channel. And without further delay, let us jump into those plays from yesterday. All right, yesterday in video YouTube video plays, we went two and one. Marco Gonzalez under four and a half strikeouts ends it uh ends the game with four and then we had Miro kelly over four and a half strikeouts and finishes with 10. i mean that's crazy what he almost like tripled tripled that uh that prop the one prop that did not come through for us was byron buxton over 7.0 hitter fantasy score 044 that is the uh that is the uh the risk i guess you take with uh, taking a Byron Buxton prop is that he he can put a a donut on a board like that. Now, I do want to I do want to um, you know show you this because as you saw the title of this video, eight and one overall yesterday. So six and zero oh in member plays, two and one on video plays. That's eight and one on the day yesterday. We swept the board, uh, so I hope my members were able to get a few of those plays in. And uh, yeah, it was it was a much better day yesterday for our MLB props than it had been in the past few days. Looking to keep it going today with these three picks. So uh, before we jump into the prize picks board, let's spend a few seconds recapping, or excuse me, going over our uh, our promotion and partnership with Thrive Fantasy. All right, Thrive Fantasy is offering 100% deposit match up to 250 for all new users just for using promo code Chavez, or you can click this link that you see on the screen. That link will be in the description. Go ahead and uh, click it. You'll be redirected to the uh, Thrive Fantasy page. Deposit 25 bucks or more. Take advantage of that deposit match as well as a very friendly payout structure and free squares. So being a new user, by using promo code Chavez, you get a free square. Very easy to pair that up with just one other play to 3.2X your money. And uh, it's a very nice way to start off over on Thrive. So go ahead and check it out. Use promo code Chavez. Take advantage of all the good stuff only over on Thrive Fantasy. All right, here we are over on Prize Picks. I want to show you the three plays that we'll be talking about in today's video. If you don't want to listen to this, watch the uh, remainder of the video. Here you go. Here are the three plays. If you want to stick around and find out whether I like the more or less and why I like the more or less, then here we go. Let's start off with Nathan Uvalde. Pitcher fantasy score currently set to 36.5. I like the over on this one. Let's head on over to props.cash and we'll talk about it. Props.cash, this is where I do all my research. This is where I dig into all the props. If you're interested in learning more about props.cash or even trying it out, use promo code THANKS25. Get 25% off your first month over on props.cash. It is the best research tool on the market right now. It is exactly what I use to bring you all this information on a daily basis. So thanks 25 promo code. Go ahead and take 25 25% off your first month over on props.cash. All right, Nathan Uvalde. Let's start by looking at his strikeouts. Then we'll go to his pitcher outs and then we'll go to some uh, hits and earn runs. So looking at his pitcher, or excuse me, looking at his strikeouts today, propped at six and a half. Minus 110 to go over, so slight juice on the under with this one. You know, six and a half is 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 not that big of a number. However, you know, you can see that on the road, Uvalde has only gone over this in two games versus his uh, numbers at home, where he's gone over two games. But he's actually uh, gotten a little closer in in one of those games versus his numbers on the road, where you can see he's gone five. In three of those games six once and then over twice so you know a little 
a little bit of a different sample size to look at. I guess it breaks even at the end of the day. But uh, today's game is being uh, played in Detroit. So we're looking at the away numbers for Uvalde to start things off. So six and a half strikeouts. I think he gets a six today. Now looking at his pitching outs, this is this is crazy. So if you don't know, you're about to know, the Texas Rangers have one of the worst bullpens in the major leagues, fourth worst bullpen, giving up a 4.7 ERA. They've allowed 18 home runs in relief and only 10 saves. So it's no wonder Uvalde has been out there longer. I mean, in, in some of these games, he's even gone complete games. I mean, two complete games here in the last five games. I don't know if you can expect that in every game, but today his pitching out prop is 18 and a half. That's six and one third inning. So he needs to go, you know, six innings and one out, and that's 19 pitching outs that gets him over this. He's done it in five straight games. He came damn near, he came pretty close in these two games over here. So let's say Uvalde goes 19 pitching outs that's 19 points plus his six strikeouts that's 18 19 plus 18 is 37 let's say he does allow two earned runs today because you can get to Uvalde a little bit so he gives up two earned runs that's 31 fantasy points right there plus the four uh, points you get for your quality start because he went over six innings gave up less than three earned runs that now puts him at 30 um what were we 31 that puts him at 35 he would need to get the win and in that scenario to go over his pitcher fantasy score or Uvalde can go out there and go eight innings and six strikeouts and get over it like that so he's gonna have to do a lot of work today but I believe because of that bullpen being so bad I think that Uvalde can get it done I think we see him out there for a length uh, a good amount of time today give me the over 36 and a half pitcher fantasy score to start things off for Nathan Uvalde. All right, second player prop to talk about today is going to be Corbin Carroll over 0.5 runs. Let's head back to props.cash and we'll break this one down. All right, over on props.cash, we have Carroll's 10 game log pulled up. We can see overall he's gone over this line in 40% over the last 10 games. 40% of the last 10 games is what I was trying to say. Now at home, uh, three times uh, out of the last 10 games. Minus 120 odds to go over here facing Carl Kaufman. So let me give you a couple of reasons I do like this one. So number one, Corbin Carroll is minus 270 to get a hit today. It's very difficult for you to score a run if you're not on base. So if he's able to get a hit, half the work is done right there. The other half is dependent on his teammates. So I do want to let you know that in the lineup, in today's lineup, uh, from what I saw, Carroll is going to be followed in the lineup by Christian Walker and uh, and Goriel and Lourdes Goriel. So both of those dudes over the last five games have combined have combined for ten hits. So the RBI opportunity for them is there. The opportunity to drive in Carroll to score a run is there. So we do need some uh, we need some teamwork here to make this dream work here. So Carroll gets on base. Good odds to get on base. And then once he's on base, minus 120 to cross home plate. So, uh, you know, not a big sample size. Uh, well, no sample size versus Kaufman. But, you know, on the season versus lefties, 61 plate appearances. Or excuse me, on the season versus righties, I should say. Uh, 144 plate appearances, 7 home runs, 1 triple, 11 doubles, 13 singles. Obviously, the easiest way to score a run is if you hit a home run. So, there's some upside to that, but really, I think uh, the you know the more realistic scenario is Cor Corbin Carroll getting on base and then having one of his teammates, Christian Walker or Lourdes Goriel, drive him in. So give me the over 0.5 run score today for Corbin Carroll as prop number two. All right, for our third and fourth prop on the board, I want to talk about Wilmer Flores. 1.5 hits, runs, and RBIs. I like the over on this one, and I like him to get it done by way of home run because today, Wilmer Flores is our four-bagger swagger call of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, let us head on over to props.cash where we will break this one down. All right, over on props.cash, let's take a look at Wilmer Flores' last 10 games. Overall, three, uh, three out of those 10 games, he's gone over this line. If we filter to home games, which this game is a home game for the Giants, he's gone over this line in 40%. So slightly better, uh, slightly better numbers there for Wilmer Flores. In terms of the hit, let's break this one down. Hit minus 238 to get 
point get over 0.5 hits so more than likely uh at least the books are expecting him to get one hit today that takes care of that in terms of a uh, run scored uh plus odds 105 there and then rbi plus 175 but overall minus 130 to go over so this number is so high it's almost as if the books are expecting him to get two hits today so it's possible he gets two hits and clears it now his numbers versus rich hill really stood out to me in his career War, uh, wilmer flores is sporting a 357 batting average 714 slug three rbis just one homer two doubles and two singles i'm not so much concerned with it just being one homer because he is seeing the ball really well versus rich hill so that's two four five five hits and 14 plate appearances and three extra base hits with three rbis his numbers on the year versus lefties favor favorable numbers here man 65 plate appearances four home runs three doubles nine singles for a 258 batting average so numbers versus lefties much better than righties even though his sample size versus hill doesn't show a ton of power his numbers versus lefties this season does so i like what i'm seeing here for wilmer flores go ahead and give me the over 1.5 hits runs and rbis also book it check the box wilmer flores goes yard as he is our four bagger swagger call of the day all right that is gonna do it for today's video let's quickly recap these three plays uvaldi over pitcher fantasy score carol over runs and wilmer flores over hits runs and rbis as well as the hit one home run because he is our four bagger swagger call of the day ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for stopping by checking this video out do drop a comment below let me know what you like on the board as well as your thoughts on these plays uh best of luck should you tell any of these plays for sure and, and as always thank you all so much for all that you do and help this channel out with as we have crossed over 5,000 subs and we are marching towards 10,000 by the end of the year once again best of luck to you all today should you tell any of these plays leave me a comment letting me know and until tomorrow's mlb player prop video chavez is out